So put your little well, good afternoon, hat. everyone. I'm Spencer Cronk, Austin City Manager, and we are here uh, today to give some perspective on the massive cleanup efforts that's been undertaken as a result of this historic winter weather event. I'm joined by Shay Ralston, the Director of Austin Water, and Ken Snipes, the Director of Austin Resource Recovery. And they're going to describe a little bit of where we are and how you can help uh, to ensure that we're keeping our community clean throughout this entire event. Uh, Director Ralston. Good afternoon, Shay Rawls Rolson, Director of Austin Water. Uh, this site is located on Austin Water's Hornsby Bend Biosolids Management Plant. This is where we take a wastewater sludge from our wastewater plants and convert it to biosolids and then mix it with yard trimmings to create an EPA certified soil conditioner called Dillo Dirt. Um, we extended our drop off hours here in the last several days. As of yesterday, we had received 758 drop-offs for 557 tons of yard trimmings. Um, in a normal month, we receive about a thousand drop-offs. So happy to see that everyone is using this facility and we'll turn it over to our colleagues at ARR to discuss more. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ken Snipes, Director of Austin Resource Recovery. And uh, we're here at Hornsby Bend where much of the debris uh, associated with the storm is being brought and uh, you can see behind us there's quite a bit of it. We're also hearing that the levels of debris from this storm are occurring at unprecedented levels. Uh, the crews are out right now collecting that material. Today we have about 50 crews out right now. Uh, ARR has brought on three additional contractors to help with that. Each of those contractors have brought forward about uh, 10 crews each and those are uh, increasing throughout the day. Uh, we'll continue to bring that material uh, here and uh, be in the neighborhoods. Uh, you'll see us out and about collecting. Uh, what I want people to know is that if you can, we want you to help us uh, expedite our services by removing vehicles and other obstructions away from the curbs. That allows our crews to work faster. And also, uh, if you can, follow our guidelines on the website as, as much as you can. We understand if you can't. Uh, but if you can, that helps us also uh, work uh, faster and to get to more of the houses uh, and the communities uh, as possible. So thank you very much, and we appreciate your uh, helping us in this effort. Thank you. Yeah, certainly I serve at the pleasure of this new mayor and council and I'll be having that conversation with them on Thursday. You know, I'm here to really make sure that we are responding directly to this winter weather event. And so that's been my sole focus. I'm very grateful of our incredible city staff that have been doing the same, uh, but I am laser focused on getting re power restored to all of our customers and in to ensure that we're getting through this winter weather event uh, successfully. Thank you. What I will say is that in the last few years, our city has seen some incredible weather events. Uh, we saw Winter Storm Uri a couple years ago. This was a historic ice storm that we have never had in our community. We know that our community is going to be faced with additional weather events in the future, and we need to do a better job collectively to prepare ourselves. Uh, so again, my focus is solely on this response, and that's where I think our community's uh, focus should be as well. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it.